And afternoon, folks. Like I said, Uncle Alan's always busy. Now, I had one comment that kind of disturbed me, and I got several comments on holsters. Uncle Alan used to make holsters. Uncle Alan used to ride horses. Uncle Alan used to ride trucks. And Uncle Alan used to carry several holsters. Now, Jerry A. Hearn, okay, you've seen this on Cap Patton's Family Compound. He holds it up. I have his arm for de personal defense. Now, a lot of people, let me take off my glasses. I've been, once I go outside, I'm totally, because of glaucoma, it's like somebody hit me with a 100 watt light bulb. Okay. A lot of people mistake what they see on television and movies as cowboy stuff. That is a bunch of boo hockey. Okay? It is not true. All right? That's make believe. Real cowboy equipment, if they wore a bushido rig, like you see Roy Rogers wearing, that's nothing in history has it. Two original revolvers were saddle mounted, not hip mounted. Belt mounted mounted was simply you stick it in your belt. Okay, not until the uh, 1850s then you see uh, uh, what you call it heavier arms with real holsters. A lot of you see see nowadays on TV, YouTube, and stuff is part myth and part stupidity okay now you see that right there it's a half truth this rig right here let me pull, pull it up okay if this was a real cowboy rig all right there's only two things wrong with it it's been modernized and westernized Having a word not be exposed, nor the trigger, and about right here is where you see the gun. Okay? If this was used in a real Western situation on horseback, and he goes through a heavy brush, and that hammer pulls back, oh boy. Another thing is, a lot of the gun pouches, okay, not holsters, gun pouches, Holsters came later, were used to protect the gun. And there's a whole history on that because people get these confused. This is fantasy, make-believe, not real life. If it was real life, everything would have been covered. Sorry about that. Ah, sometimes the phone goes off. Okay. The military prefers full flap holsters they learned it all right it's not for special purposes like police work or concealment i have to say this to people because they don't understand okay let me find another one okay full flap uh full flap okay were always used by the military and outdoorsmen. If you're riding horses or going out in brush, you don't want to have a gunfighter rig. Right down here. This was called a gunfighter rig. That was used during the 1920s. All right. Fits on the belt. Easy to use. One of the first... Uh, which we call modern uh, holsters for self-defense. Now the problem with these were they expose the important parts of the gun. George Patton Jr., who was a colonel, did that. His father chewed him out because once he got back, his gun was rusted solid. After the on the front for six months. It just chewed the hell out of it because everything fell in it. Now, if you're a police officer in a nice dry car or you're a detective, you have a coat in office, you're not in the field 24 hours. 
okay? This always ticks the hell out of me. Now, let's see. I think that's it. Oh, we can save that. Save power. <clears throat> okay. Now, there's tactical rigs. There's concealment rigs. There's a lot of rigs that, if you read this book, you understand. Now, a lot of people don't understand. This is a concealment rig. Because your coat covers it and protects it from the elements. It's faster to draw and easier to use. Okay? But people don't understand that. People are like, God, they're bloody hell stupid. Again, concealment and draw rig. It's a gunfighter's rig. It is not used in outdoors. And if you ride a horse with one of these things, you either kill your horse or you shoot yourself in the nuts. I had to tell one guy to take off his holster. Okay? Because you can't ride a horse with like that. I said that's more dangerous to the horse than to your dumb ass. Okay? Tell me, how much is that gun exposed? And we go through heavy brush, you're going to hear a lot of idiots jack around in the chamber. It goes boom, and the horse dies. I'm mad as hell. I'm going to use that to beat the hell out of the idiot rider. Worse, he gets off the horse, and he shoots himself in the penis. Okay, again, this is for tactical use. For gunfighting, it is not made for ATVs, riding horses, or in a ranch truck. Now, a lot of people, oh, I could ride in the truck, Uncle Al. Yeah, and you're a dumbass. Now, these are not too bad. Okay, why? Take a look at it. Everything protected and nothing here. Take a good look at it. Trigger's not exposed. Hammer's not exposed. Hammer is still exposed on that one, but it's not too bad. This Crydex one, I wouldn't let, let the person ride a horse. Because the trouble is, hammer is still exposed. Okay, it should look like this. All right. You don't want anything loose or movable out on the range. Most of the time you see people carry like this. I don't care. It does work. All right. And that's also a Crydex holster. Okay. Different positions with the Crydex holster. Would I wear it while riding a horse? No. Oh, this one is a real favorite of mine. All right. This is a gunfighter's trick. You stick it on the back of your waistband. Common practice, but in reality, if you do anything other than walking or taking a dump, it you'll find the gun. Oh, look, I found a new 45 right there on the ground. Fully loaded. Because people drive me so bloody crazy. Okay, again, inside the waistband. And that's Crydex on both. I'm not against Crydex. I'm not against carry. But there's always three rigs. Concealed carry, police and tactical, and for outdoors and heavy use. And I'm trying to remember. I thought I put it down there. Maybe it's in the other one. One second. Because people are stupid as hell and they drive me nuts. Uh, let's see. Maybe I have it in survival. And I got food, nuts, chips. Let's see if I have it in survival gear.
I know CR would go nuts if he ever saw my this section tells you how to build anything. Uh, Why your I'm your father? Nah. No, I had to go back. Oh, I li like the smartphone. It gives me another computer to work with. They won't have it. The trouble is, I'm trying to show you a modern version of the holes that you use for the Beretta. And they show me all the little tactical crap. Which drives me nuts because people can't tell the bloody difference between tactical, concealed, or field use. Okay. That's tactical right there. Okay. Trouble with tactical, I will not let you ride on an ATV because a lot of people, it does work, but you have to be trained. I don't want to see another person shoot off his dick. I am getting so bloody tired, it's not even funny. No, oh, I think they took it down. Dag nabbit, stupid SUV. Just drives me nuts. They still have flat holders in the militaries for the Berettas and some of the SIGs, but nobody asked me why. Because most of the time, you're not in a gunfight. Most of the time, you're just carrying it around as a sidearm through muck, dirt, whatever. Unless you want to field strip it every 40 minutes to clean it, I don't think so. Maybe I try this way. Try, let's go back, hit Molly. Whoops, dang, nabbit. Uncle Alan's old, Uncle Alan's tired, and I gotta do this video. This is why I tell people get training. Go see Corsair's trainer, he can explain it clearly. Like a Marine to most of you people out there. Don't have the one with the front side with a flap. I really hate days like this. I totally do. And people wonder, oh, here we go. Okay, see that? That one's without the cover, the flap, and it has the regular straps on it. 
if you look at it, it's designed for a flap to cover over. If it's like, uh, whatchamacallit, rapid use, they put in the straps and that's how it works. But people don't understand the difference. Flap holster is supposed to protect a firearm from the weather. And I still only get the back side of it. It's like you stupid PC correct morons. I thought at least it would, if it was in Mali, it would show a whole system. Remember, it's a big difference between tactical and a real thing. Real thing, I don't know if I can find it. I had a picture of it. It was a really good one, too. And I think it was either Special Forces or Marines using it. As for Beretta 92B. Done, I should do it like this. They're showing a lot of tactical, but they're not showing Molly. And I typed in Molly, so. Concealment, concealment, tactical, tactical. Okay. That's the back side of it with the flap. This side right here is without the flap. Okay. Simple to tell. I wish they had the other. It's a modular. Fits on the Molly system. This one is the. The tactical version, once you remove the strap and put in the flap, the flap's like this. Unfortunately, they don't have the picture of the front. It covers the whole gun. All right? And that one, also the side magazine, right there, pouch, comes off. They're trying to make it into a modular unit. But people don't understand this. And that takes me 40 minutes to explain. Don't believe everything you see on TV. It gives me a bloody headache. And I'm back to doing sushi again. Okay, sorry it took long, but I'm real stickler on this when I get comments like, you know, nobody wears a flat poster. And I said, you haven't been using handguns that long. Okay, so I do tell people to read up on it. Take a course. This is Jerry Ahern, same guy who wrote this one. Take a course. Know what people are talking about. Don't be a boob. Well, I don't see it on Bonanza. It's like, I know the history. Okay. I studied it. I studied why they carried it. The worst offenders of it was all those veterans from World War I going to Ireland. They had such a gunfight rate that you wouldn't believe. Not because of the threat or fast gunfighting, but to stupidity, careless, and modification. That's why they went back to the old gun pouch where it swallows the whole damn pistol, except for the butt. Because people were playing cowboys, or they get drunks, and or it fell out of my holster, sir. Okay? You don't want to hear that. All right? I'm putting this clear. So know what you're doing with your equipment. Because a lot of you just give me comments like, this person needs to go to the mental hospital. I probably get... Another ding on that one, but it's the truth. And I'll catch you later. You have a nice day. Remember, these are good books. And I'll have them printed below. And do understand what system you're using to defend yourself. And please do not shoot off your male penis or shoot yourself in the lady parts or something. Because a lot of people don't know how to handle firearms. That makes me very nervous.
I'll see you later. I'll be seeing you. Do something good for your neighbors and neighborhood. Try to help out people. Remember, it's all depending up to you. And don't be sitting around eating Cheetos all day. Bye now.